okay so it's now time to display the data to the front end so we'll be creating a link and then displaying the data on a table so for that we have a table component and you can also check this video it's really good and you'll get to know a lot of stuff from, stuff from here as well so there are actually two ways to render the table component and and then pass in the data so one is going to be a basic example so if you have a simple table then in that case you can use this basic table class otherwise we have a dedicated table class and we are going to use this for this tutorial so let's go ahead and create so for this we are what we are going to do is we are going to define a dedicated table class and define all the configs and all the other stuff needed for this specific class in this class itself and then we can pass that wherever we want so let's go ahead and do that so in my controller okay in my terminal i'll just paste that command and the name for our table is going to be students and let's go ahead to that students table and okay there are some things that are going to be populated itself so authorize is going to be true so this is uh, true by default we can actually replace this thing with auth check for now so any uh, unauthenticated users cannot access our table okay so for the student query and i guess the student model is also imported for us and what else do we have okay so here we have some basic things configured so the width global search is something that is the name itself says so the global search feature is uh, gonna search for the id and let's also add some new columns in here so i want to add name email and okay we also have phone number so let's also add that so whenever we type in this column or the search field then it is going to search through these fields from the students query and we also have the column and the sortable is true so let me just go ahead and copy duplicate this thing and then we'll display all the other data so the one uh, other is going to be the name property and let me also remove this sortable property because you probably have got an idea what this does so basically sorts lets the user sort the table so what else do we have okay we also have email we also have phone number and okay let's save this and see how this looks like and we'll add more features later okay let's also add the colon or semicolon what do we call it i'm not sure okay so how do we render this thing so to render that what we do is we return the view and then pass in the users table class with this value so this is the key and the value is going to be the user stable class so let's go ahead and create a new controller artisan make controller student controller and let's also define a new route inside web.php let me remove these comments let's also sort the imports and okay we have the default route provided by breeze so don't remove any of these because these are required for uploading and table rendering the tables and all the other stuff so here we are going to define that route so let me uh, i'm going to define a resourceful route because we might need it for other stuff as well and the controller is going to be app HTTP controller student controller class okay that looks good so we can oh, okay we can actually go to that class and let's define that index method and okay what are we going to do in here so we are going to return a view students.index we haven't defined this file yet so the next step is to pass the students data so the key is going to be students and the value is going to be the students table class okay that's it that's the only thing we need to, we need to do on the controller side so let's go ahead to the file manager and inside views let's create a new folder and inside that students folder let's create the index.blade.php and okay what are we going to do here so what i'll do is i'll just copy the content from dashboard because we can use the existing app layout the authenticated app layout and we can customize this as per our needs so let me just paste that in here and the name is gonna be header is gonna be students list and okay let me remove this part and what we want to do here is we want to render the students table so we can do that by passing in 
the x plate table component so this is basically a blade component and inside this plate component the blade actually pro passes in the table component and all the other props so we are passing in the users prop to this blade component and then that users prop is in in turn passed to the view component and that's how blade actually works so we are also passing in a empty state slot so in case there are in case of uh, in case uh, when there are no any records and we'll just display this so you can override this as per your needs so instead of users what we want to do is we want to pass in the students record so let's save that and let's go ahead and reload and see how it looks like okay we can't reload actually so we need to go to the students route so i'll just add the route in a minute let's first see how it looks like okay we have all the data displayed so for, uh, right now we are not paginating so because of that all of the data are displayed and let's try to search for by search record by phone number so i'm going to type 681 and as you can see the search feature is also working fine okay so what i want to do now is i also want to implement the pagination right now so inside the so all the pagination inquiry and searching on and, and all the other stuff what we where do we do is inside these tables class so here so this is a query so this builds up the query so if you want to filter out some data by uh, let's say a certain use case that if you want to filter out the data depending on a certain permission or role then you want to implement that here and that in turn is going to be passed to this configure method so these data will be displayed as per the configuration from here so what i want to do here is i, want, I also want to call the paginate method in here so we don't have to pass anything in here the default configuration is fine so let's go ahead and reload okay we also need to remove the filters so we have a reset function in here so now as you can see we are displaying 15 records and we also have some default values in here you can change that change these default values you can check on the uh, documentation for that so i guess it's inside this overview table itself okay from where here you can check that out and the pagination also works fine so i also want to do one thing i want to add a link in here for the students so let's go ahead and do that so where is that actually implemented so inside components there's a nav okay navigation so let's go ahead and copy okay not documentation but home okay this is dashboard but we are seeing home in here okay let's go ahead and check out the app layout so layouts app.blade okay we have the navigation in here so this is the one actually being used so let's go ahead and copy this nav link so this is also a component and the href tag is going to be students dot index and we also get the id auto completion so that's really good and request route is students dot index and this is gonna be students okay let me also fix that spelling let's save and let's go ahead and reload okay this is taking some time okay the active navigation active link is also working fine and the link is also working fine Okay, so that's it we are displaying the data on a, and also we have one property in here so whether you want to toggle these uh, visibility of these columns or not so that's also possible and that's it for this part and in the next part we'll be looking at creating the data we will be using the slide over component to display a form and then save the data so that's it for this part and i'll see you guys in the next one